All right, guys, we are at the Kyocera Dome here in Osaka, getting ready to watch the team here play. And the two top teams are up uh, for first place right now, so it is a pretty popular game today. We stood in line for about an hour to get tickets for today's game and we were able to secure those and then we stood in line to get in so we we're a little bit sweaty and uh, we got inside the field here and found our spot we're gonna go get something to eat now but I'll show you what our seats look like let's head that way okay so uh, first order of business we've been running around all day today didn't have lunch so we think we'll start out the, the game before the game here with something in our bellies so we stopped and got something to eat at a place called Steakhouse Jack and we've got some Japanese fried chicken is what they call it with french fries and then this is steak with french fries and you get that with your chopsticks to eat and with the little toothpick to eat also got a soda and you'll note you'll see a lid and a straw amazing <laughs> I hate going to the ball games and the concerts and stuff and you don't ever get the lid or the straw. It's very nice to have that. And then I also got this special drink that's for the team. It's like a buffalo's lemonade or something like that. So cheers. We're going to enjoy this and then go in and find our seats. Before we head over to the seats, I wanted to share a funny little snippet from getting tickets. So we stood in line and we were about the 10th people in line for the tickets. And uh, so it was gonna be like an hour and a half before they started selling the tickets. So people are just standing there and it was warm out. So all of a sudden, people in front of us started leaving little piles of things in their spot and then just walking away. And we were like, what in the world? Well, that's just how they were holding their place. So then we thought, well, we might as well give it a shot. So we did, we left a bottle of water uh, on top of a bag sitting in a spot where we were. And when we came back 45 minutes later, everything was still there. So <laughs> that was really cool. I'll show you a picture over here of what that, uh, what that looked like. But that was uh, kind of a cool experience of what uh, things are like here in Japan.
thing we've noticed at the couple of games that we've gone to here in Japan is that there is a re-entry allowed. You just get a stamp on your hand, kind of like when you went to the club back in the day, or maybe you still do. Uh, you get a stamp and you can leave and come back in with your ticket and the stamp on your hand. So the stamp is on you and then you bring the ticket back in. That way they know the same person is coming back into the game. Probably one of the reasons for that is because you can bring outdoor food in. A lot of times there's like food trucks and different places that you can purchase foods outside of the stadium but the food in here is actually quite reasonable the food that we had earlier the steak and fries was seven dollars and fifty cents and the chicken and fries was five dollars which is quite reasonable when you think what it would normally cost at a US baseball game would be a lot more than that so very reasonable prices in the in the stadium but you can get stuff for even cheaper outside the stadium One of the really fun things about the games is that there is a band, like a full band with the band director and everything um, on each team and they play uh, kind of the chance for each player as they come up to bat, which is really cool. You can hear sometimes the name that they use in there, um, especially if it's a foreign player, then you can actually make it out. Um, but it's really cool that they do that. But I'm gonna show you what uh, each of the two cheering sections look like for the game. Uh, today we are watching the uh, Oryx or Ori um, Buffaloes and they are playing Chiba Latte Marines. Um, one team is from uh, here in Osaka and the other one uh, is the traveling team, but they were actually uh, in kind of first place as I mentioned earlier. So let's go check out the two teams uh, bands and cheering sections.
right, that's a wrap on this game. We had a great time, uh, another great Japanese baseball experience, and we got to see the champions in action. Uh, if you are interested in more videos about traveling in Asia, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Give me a like, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.